Ed, Saturday night, the Canucks host the Toronto Maple Leafs, an annual affair. Um, gosh, there's so much to talk about with the Leafs, but let's start with one of those old favorite province sports subjects. How angry we are that we have to play hockey at 4 p.m. Pacific to make the people in the East Coast happy. Yeah, What's no, your reaction I, to that? Because your I, old colleague Tony Gallagher used to get pretty <laughs> worked up about it. You know, I will say this for Tony. He maintained that ability to uh, 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 to keep his sense of outrage. And I, I'm sorry, it's been beaten out of me. It's uh, This is like 17 years of this same story. And why do we have to start? I, I, I just refuse to have an opinion on it anymore. Whatever, fine, Toronto's here. Let's get it out of the way. I've never heard of hockey players having to play at 4 in the afternoon. <laughs> That's really going to throw them off. And to be fair, it would be nice for people in the East who are Maple Leafs fans to, to not have to watch the game at 10 o'clock at night. I'm just thinking, I'm thinking if you're the national broadcaster, you might want more people to watch. No, fair enough. And I will say this, you know, we kind of lose a uh, sense of it. But when you're back East and, you know, and that doubleheader game can, that comes on, like it, it's ending at 1230 at night and yeah. nobody's staying up to watch it. Nobody, so, especially because so. it's, it's the Leafs. All right, yeah. what else about Toronto? What strikes well, you? Well, well th this is what strikes me about it is the Canucks and the Leafs are in such a similar place in, in their development. They're, you know, trying to develop young players. They're probably more uh, trying to take this year get a top draft pick and and uh, they're both about the same uh, place in the standings so like for draft us this is a really interesting game which team is going to win and which team is going to lose and vice versa if you catch my meaning I'm thinking if the Leafs just waved Michael Grabner he could come back to where it all started 